Joining us live now is Bunaba traditional owner Joe Ross. Joe, thank you for your time. Firstly, how are you and how difficult has the past couple of weeks been? Uh, thank you, Gabrielle. Uh, it's been a uh, quite a shock to our community and uh, normally we would get these floods and I live in uh, along the river. It was about where there's about 40 houses and uh, our community, uh, they would normally uh, you know, stay in our in our houses, and some some people would come into town. But with this one, uh, the flood is, is another couple of metres higher, and it's gone through all our houses. You're a tour guide. You know this area so well. Can you describe to us what it's been like to see this area so badly impacted by the flood water? Well, it's just a unprecedented flooding, and uh, we're really appreciating the, uh, you know what's been happening over east and places like Lithgow and currently in South Australia. And, uh, you know, people talk about this being a one, one in a hundred year flood. I think we're now going to be start talking about this being, you know, a norm for that 10 or 20 years. Uh, every 10 or 20 years, we get these sort of large floods in, in this area. And we're currently at the start of the wet season. So we'd be expecting another couple of cyclones to come along. And I don't think it will be, as, hopefully, it won't be as large as this. Um, my family of about 45 people are scattered between Fitzroy Crossing, Derby and Perth and, uh, and Fitzroy Crossing's emotional state was really um, a trouble at the start of it, in the start of the crisis, but thanks to the Minister Stephen Dawson and DFES, he's really shored up the leadership and the confusion and yesterday we had the arrival of the army, which is always uh, gives a very large moral, moral boost to the community. You also spoke with Anthony Albanese. Um, what was that like? Can you share with us what you spoke about? I had a little time with him, but the, uh, basically it was really uh, uh, assured the community that we're being listened to from as high as people in Canberra, like the Prime Minister and the Premier, Mark McGowan. And we really appreciated their visit and their assurance that the community will be at the uh, forefront of all decision-making in our community, because it's a large Aboriginal community. But we also have a, a you know large non-indigenous community who have grown up here and we've all got to get through this together and we're calling on the government to ensure that uh, we all uh, are engaged here and uh, but to have the prime minister and the premier here was a, a great boost to our confidence in uh, the process that's happening at the moment joe ross thank you so much for your time we appreciate it thank you